Okay, I want to talk quickly about taking action versus reaction, or prevention versus repentance, or however you want to say it. So basically what we want to talk about is doing something first, so we don't have to worry about doing something more later. So we talked in the past about how a lot of different things in this world you can create analogies for it, and the one we're going to use for this is, is fitness. So, um, if I am fat... It's pretty simple to, to figure out. Like you can go to all sorts of different websites and different diet plans and fitness programs, but it basically comes down to two things. Stop eating bad food or food that makes you fat and then exercise. Those are the two keys to losing weight or becoming fit. So, the, and, and when I think about this, I go, well, if I work out really, 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 really hard and I work out an hour and a half a day or two hours a day, but then I go home and immediately eat an entire cake that I went and got from Walmart on the way home, or I go home, I drink seven energy drinks, or I, you know, consume like 20 donuts and three bags of chips and all these sort of things. All that work that I'm going to be putting into the gym, I may still see a little bit of results for it, but I'm going to, have, I'm going to be extremely frustrated by, by the lack of results I'm seeing overall. Now, and a lot of people will tell you this, a lot of fitness experts will say this, the biggest success to losing weight, specifically like abs, like they say the key to abs is in the kitchen. So if I can stop eating fatty foods and stop eating high, high sugary content foods and all these things, I'm going to have better abs than if I go and spend all this time in the gym. Now, if I want to have a good combination of both you know, good abs and lean physique and big, strong muscle, I'm going to start in the kitchen by cooking and preparing healthy food, but then I'm also going to go and work my butt off in the gym. How does this relate to what we're talking about? Let's think about a clean home or an effective business or a healthy relationship. If you know that you're going to be eating way too much food or you're going to be consuming high sugary things like this in a relationship, it doesn't matter how hard you work in the gym because you're still going to be paying the price for all of these things you did wrong before you ever got to the gym. So for this analogy, let's use just keeping your house clean. If I want to keep my home clean, I can bust my butt and then go and spend like two hours a day, three hours a day working really hard on keeping these things clean. But let's say every time I go to the store, I bring in my groceries and I never put my groceries away. Or I leave food out and I have a toddler that goes and like shakes cereal all over the ground or smears peanut butter on the walls because I don't put these things away. Then I'm working really, really hard to clean peanut butter off the wall, to clean cereal off the ground. But if I would have just taken the time in the beginning to prevent the mess from ever happening, I wouldn't have to be putting in as much work. And then as a result, we put in all this hard work and we get frustrated because we go, ah, I'm working so hard and I'm not seeing a lot of success because all you're doing is fixing what you didn't prevent. So you're never getting ahead. All you're doing is letting these things happen and then you're just cleaning those things up and you're never getting to the point where you go, well, how do I beautify my home? How do I clean messes that were there for a long time? You're never going to get to that point. So again, going back to fitness, if I just eat junk food every single day and I want to lose weight and I go to the gym, I'm going to work off the junk food I ate, but I'm never going to get past that point to like, well, let's get strong and, and, and fix our physique up and all these sort of things. So think about what in your life that you're struggling with. Again, whether it's something in your business, whether it's your home, whether it's your relationship and say, how can I take steps before to prevent these things from happening? So again, if it's something with a relationship, if I know that if I come home drunk, my wife and I get in fights, okay, well, maybe how do I avoid coming home drunk in the first place? So if I don't go and get drunk, I'm not going to come home and fight. Because if I'm always worrying about these fights I have every time I'm drunk, I can't figure out how do I come home and work on other ways to better our relationship or to enhance things. You know, whatever it is that's going on with you, there's a way to prevent problems from happening before you get to the point where you're trying to fix them. Because I want the work that you're putting in to have benefits, to show results. So work hard, but don't work against yourself. Something to think about.